Hello, everybody. Welcome to Steak Insanity. Today is day 78, 77 of my carnivore diet, and we are going to talk about not losing any weight, um, being okay on the diet, getting more exercise, and snacking. So let's get into it. Um, I know it's been a few days since my last update, but I did the poll, and more than half of the people seem to just want less or fewer updates, like the everyday thing I think was just a bit much, because I didn't feel like I had anything to report on a day-to-day -to -day basis. And I know that I have a task, a personal task, to create videos every day, and I've been creating other videos, just not specifically for this channel. So I'm still creating videos, I'm still editing, I'm still doing all that stuff in the background. It's just, I thought that I would slow down on this channel just a little bit and maybe see if going a few days in between updates was a little bit better. So maybe doing them weekly or if anything unusual happens or anything jumps out to, to record a video then. If you really enjoy the daily ones and you really want me to do the daily ones, leave some comments in the video and um, and let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably just try and space them out a little bit more just to, just to make it a little bit more interesting, hopefully. So at least I have a list of things that I want to talk about that have happened over the past week. And, you know, maybe that'll be a little bit more interesting. So first of all, let's get into it. Um, I'm trying to weigh myself less. Uh, I do still keep track of all my my macros and my steps and my calories and all that sort of stuff, but I am trying to focus less on the weight. That being said, last Sunday, so it's Sunday evening, last Sunday I weighed 93.7 kilos. This Sunday I weighed 94 kilos. So I've taken a little bit of a step, if you want to call it that, but my weight's a tiny bit higher. Now, the other thing that's happened over the week, though, that I think offers some probably some explanation to that is I've been to the gym four times and I've done a weight workout and I've actually run on the road. And those things combined, you know, doing physical, you know, actually lifting weights causes you your muscles to pump a little bit and to have more water. And then also running on the road does the same thing because running on a treadmill is fine and it's great for you cardio wise. So you still get that, but muscularly it's not the same. So you don't build up the strength in your legs and in your calves and all of that. It's you, you don't, it's not the same because the ground's moving underneath you. It's more just you kind of keeping up with what's happening instead of you having to push yourself. So it's a different type of thing, even though cardio wise, it feels pretty much the same. So I think that that's probably part of it. I don't, I don't really care that much. It, you know, um, I mean, I say I don't, I do a little bit, but I expected that because I'm getting back in the gym physically. I don't feel any different. My, my clothes aren't fitting any differently than they did last week. In fact, I actually accidentally went down another, um, hole on my belt today. And um, I was pretty surprised by that. So the, the belt that I've been wearing for the last couple of years, I've actually gone to the very last hole on. And I did that by accident today. So I don't think that it's having any impact on my body shape. In fact, I think my body shape will probably continue to get better and I'll continue to lose some fat. And maybe I'm, I really want to focus on more weight training now to try and now build a little bit of muscle back up again. So I'm not so concerned on the numbers. And again, I'm trying to only weigh myself once a week. So that's that. Um, most of my sleep this week has been over six hours, which is good. The week before I had a few nights where I had under six hours, which really isn't good. I used to be able to thrive on five hours of sleep, but I can't anymore. I now need at least six and maybe seven Yesterday and today, I got nearly eight hours both days, which is unheard of. So that was really good. I was really pleased with that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. All my my calories and, and all my um, 
my carb and fat and protein um, have all been pretty, pretty standard for the week. Um, I did have KFC one day for lunch, um, which isn't on the diet, I know. But again, sometimes you have to eat the best thing that you can that's available. And um, I find that KFC generally tends to be the best thing I can have. So I had loads of chicken, which was okay. All the rest of it, I was pretty good on the diet, actually, this week. I do want to talk about snacking, though. I'm, like, addicted to peanuts. I, ca I can't stop eating them. And it's really starting to do my head in. It's It almost feels to me like it was harder to stop eating peanuts or peanut butter or macadamia, like some sort of nuts, than it was to stop smoking. And I'm not even kidding. I think I had an easier time just putting down cigarettes than I am trying to stop eating nuts. And I, again, I know it's not on the diet and I'm really, really trying not to have them. I've got to find something else that I can have that will, I, I don't even know if it's the texture thing. I don't know if it's a sweet, it's just something other than meat, I think. And it, I'm struggling with the meat only a lot. And I think it's, I love it. It's great. And whether it's pork or it's ham or, um, I know ham is pork, but you know what I mean? Whether it's like, you know, something like that, or it's venison or it's steak or it's eggs. I just like, I just cra absolutely crave something else. I've tried biltong, um, or at least I've tried one type of biltong or beef jerky, and I'm going to try some other ones to see um, if there's one that I like, because if I can find something like that that works for me, then that might be good just to stay on. But I, I, I'm really, really struggling really hard with that. I'm trying my best and, you know, some days I'll cut it down and I, I might have none or, or very, very little. And then other days I'm like, I don't know. It's just, um, I'm struggling. Today was extremely difficult. I have no idea why, but I've, I haven't had anything in particular in the last couple of days off the diet, nothing unusual, but I've absolutely been craving something else. I haven't had anything. I've been really good other than again, peanut butter, but, um, yeah, I've got to, I've got to find something that I can have that, that will work. Um, so yeah, that's that's my struggle at the minute. I think once I get back to the office next week, it'll probably be a little bit easier because I'll be busier and I'll be engaged in doing things and you know I'll be distracted mostly. But that's also sort of those times in the afternoon or the mid-morning, particularly if I get up and have some breakfast and then I go in, it's like mid-morning, I'm hungry again and it's like I want to eat, but I don't really have anything. The other thing I've started to do is I've gone back a little bit to having lean, more leaner meats at lunchtime. So, you know, maybe some roast chicken or some beef or some kind of salmon, um, that sort of thing. Turkey, I have turkey, roast beef, salmon, um, yeah, roasted chicken, those sorts of things at lunchtime. So, I don't know. I'm going to try it. I was doing that in the very beginning and I was feeling quite good and I seemed to be doing really well. And I was kind of having the, the fatty stuff like the sausage and the bacon and the eggs and everything in the morning. And then I was having steaks at night. And I'm starting to, th to think that that might be better. At least it's a little variety of meat. So I'm, I'm doing that at the moment as well. I haven't had any electrolytes this week. And, but I'm feeling plenty hydrated. And I don't know if maybe that's a side effect of the L-lysine. So I have been taking L-lysine now for a week. So I'm taking a thousand milligrams every day as an extra. And I know I'll be getting loads of extra L-lysine from the meat that I'm eating, but I wanted to try it and sort of see what that was like. And if it seemed to have any effect, I don't know if it's psychosomatic or whatever, but it does seem I do seem to be able to heal faster. So when I went for a run, I was a little bit sore, but I'm not as sore as I expected that I would be. 
And when I've been going to the gym, I seem to be recovering a little bit quicker. And I've only been on it for a week. I think it's probably going to take being on it every day consistently for like a month before I can really see some of the effects. But um, yeah, so that's been quite interesting. So we'll see how that goes over the next week or so or next couple of weeks. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to take it for a few weeks and give it a chance. And yeah, I think that the biggest things this week again are I've been to the gym four times um, and I've run 15K, which is pretty good. The other day I did some I did some weights as well. Um, a couple of those days. So upper body, mainly shoulders and that sort of thing. And I feel much better, frankly, for having gone to the gym. So I'm trying to keep that up at the same time. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this week. Um, it was a pretty quiet week. We've got a concert tomorrow night and my wife's going to be in town. She's working in town and not at home tomorrow. So that'll be nice. We'll go and grab something, probably some sort of a breakfasty type thing for lunch. And then we've got a concert tomorrow night. And I think that'll be fine based on the, you know, the last few events that I've been to, it's been totally fine. I'll just drink water and I'll be okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm around most of the rest of the week, I think. So again, it should be a pretty normal week. I've had some problems with my motorcycle. So I currently my, my bike is parked in a, in a garage at the minute because it's got a flat. I picked up a screw while I was riding to work the other day. So I have to sort that out. And that's kind of put a little bit of a, a damper on me being able to get out and kind of do my own thing. But other than that, yeah, feeling good. Everything seems to be going. I just have to kick this peanut habit. So if anybody watches and you get this far in the video, um, please make some recommendations for snacks. If you can think of something that's a great snack um, that, you know, might be useful that I can have instead of nuts and peanuts and that sort of thing, then I'd really, really appreciate it. And um, if anything interesting helps during the week, then I'll check back in with everybody. But otherwise, I will see you next Sunday. See you later. Bye bye.